I saw this video and I stated that this opioid crisis here in America is something that these folks really don't take as serious as they should. Now I saw this one video and I wanted to make sure this is what I was looking at and from what people were saying who is even involved with this. I want you to watch these two clerks inside the store. You got all that on there? Here, we just got a suicide. Here. It's going to be more bus. Now they high as a kite. They standing right there trying to buy something. And see, you know, you try to say that all oh, black people steal. Well, you know, that would have been a great time for black people to be stealing if we like to steal like they claim we like to steal. But they high as a kite, standing there looking at them, get their attention, and, and the chick, you know, she almost about to fall out. The other one don't even move. You know, like let's say if somebody's sleepy, right? And you sleeping on the job, somebody call your name like, oh shoot, man, I'm sleeping. And the other one would have probably done the same thing because she was loud enough to get their attention, but didn't even move the head to head down like this. Man, they need to take care of themselves. I don't know what's wrong with them. They all high up on drugs, but this is the thing. When black people had the crack cocaine epidemic, they just railroaded us. They put us in jail. They threw away the key. They broke up families and everything. But it's just amazing how when they on their plague that's happening to them right now, they're not breaking up their families and not giving them no three strikes laws or any of that. Hell, they made special provisions to lock black folks up because of crack cocaine, but they won't do nothing uh, to them. See, the thing is the opioids are going to take them out more than crack ever took us out because they always try to save face on what happens with them. They never want to handle things like they handle us. When it comes to black folks, they are going to create laws to harm us and make sure the laws are followed by the letter when it comes to black folks. But when it comes to them, they're not going to do that. They're going to say, Oh, she looks like my daughter. Oh, he looks like my grandson. And that's how they respond. Oh, I can't lock them up in jail and ruin their lives like that. They, I, how are they going to function? But black people, they don't say that. They're like, shoot, throw them Negroes in jail. Lock, lock them up. Give them 30 years on the first offense, 40 years. That's how they treat black folks. So I, that's why I don't have no sympathy for them. I don't. I'm way past the days of having sympathy for people, and they only have sympathy for me. See, I used to be so compassionate with a lot of things, but as I looked over time, why are you compassionate for people that's not compassionate for you? You you haven't feeling sorry for people, and then you look up when you need someone to feel sorry for you, they like lock you up, throw you in jail, uh, screw you, and everything else. Like, I no, 
Uh uh-uh. uh. I just don't do that no more like I used to. I was, you know, a lot young and dumb. I can say that. Um, but I got a taste of what the real world is. So, and I think most of us will open our eyes to that, especially us within our community, is that we're not going to be having sympathy for something that you didn't have sympathy for us. At least, at least, you know, we're not caping for a three strike law for you, but you know, you're not going to do that to your own. That's why I say it. Opioids going to take a whole lot of them out because they won't uh, lock them up and they won't create special laws to put them in jail or do anything to them. So that's their problem. But it's crazy that you got jobs and you sitting up there high as a kite. But leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Also, thank you for the recent people that have joined us here on Patreon. I do appreciate um, you joining us, trying to help us get to our goal. It is very important uh, that we do so because we can't depend on YouTube every day. YouTube is changing um, and we don't want to fully depend on YouTube. Uh, for anything. So we rather have the people uh, support and that's where it's always been at uh, for us since the last year, the people has came by to support. So I greatly uh, appreciate that. You now I see some people um, join the, now you can watch whatever you want to watch on the, on the show um, at the $2 level that was most created for college students. Uh, and we had shut down the platform. We was only putting, videos here on Patreon at that time. So that level is created for them. Um, but like the live streams and, uh, certain things we're going to do at the $5 level. So if you want access to everything, $5 level would be the best uh, bet to be at or more if you choose to uh, donate more a month than $5, but appreciate everyone watching and we'll see you next time.